Okay, so recently there's been a few updates to VMware, and we are currently on version 8.0.3. And some of you may be aware that recently there hasn't been any updates to the hardware bypasser. However, what I'm going to show you in this video is an updated version which will handle everything up to 8.0.3. And um, basically, you can download it from the link in the description, and it will be included in every build which I put together from now on. And so if I just open it up, um, this version has been made by a guy called Cubes. I haven't had any input on this one, whereas I have with previous versions, as some of you may be aware. And you can see here, it works on 7.1.3, 7.1.4, 8.0, 8.0.1, 8.0.2, and 8.0.3, which is the latest version of VMware as it stands right now. Um, for some reason, 7.1.5 isn't on this list, but it should be because unless he specifically removed it for some sort of reason in this version it, it should work it, it works from i know that from previous versions that we've put together so 7.1.5 should work and he's also put a little note that it might work on vmware player although i don't think he's done any testing on that however i can say that it does work on vmware player as long as you select the right files because it works in you know the way it works should work with vmware player and so if you scroll down you can see for 32-bit versions, you just select the file, and 64-bit versions, you select it from the x64 folder. Now, what I'm going to say right now is that this patch is not the best thing in the world. It's very, the way it's put together is very, um, I'm not going to say amateur, but it, it's very buggy, to put it like bluntly. So straight away, what I'm going to suggest you do is don't tick create backup once you've selected your file. And what I would suggest you do, um, I'll just very quickly show you that if you click apply patch, you'll get this little dialog box. And if you press yes, um, all you do is I'll show you very quickly. You just go through to your program files folder and go into VMware. And I'm on 64 bit, so I have the 64 folder and go in there and just select VMware VMX. Now, once you've clicked that, um, you'll have the option to create a backup which as I've said you don't tick because that will cause issues but what I also recommend is that you don't actually run it from wherever you download it to you actually copy it and then paste it into the VMware directory um, so where the VMX file is and not the VMX the exe file is sorry so if you just paste it here and then run it from within there um, it'll work a lot better and without getting well, I'm not really going to go into why, but it, it just trust me that it works a lot better if you do it that way. So the, the two biggest issues you'll run into is if you don't have it in the directory and if you tick backup. And if you don't, like, for the whole backup thing, you can just copy the file in the first place and then just, you know, paste it somewhere else. And one last thing is that the because of the way the patch is put together, um, it's created with a certain tool which can be recognized as a virus on certain machines. Now, I want to make it very clear now that this there's absolutely no nothing wrong with this file. There's no virus whatsoever. And so basically, if you get a virus, just turn your virus scanner off and use it and then put the virus scanner back on or whatever. Um, I'll just scan it now, actually. And you can see that it's completely clean. Um, I just, you saw me virus scan it right there, so there's no issue with it but some virus scanners will detect it. So just be aware of that. And you can get it from the link in the description, as I've said. And as I also said, it'll be in every bundle that I put together from now on. So that is to bypass the hardware virtualization issues. And you know, the, the whole software virtualization issue that you might get when you try running one of my builds. And yeah, I'm not gonna run it myself because I don't want to basically. Actually, if I back it up, there's no issue. Um, one second. Right, so if I just go to apply patch, because it's in the same directory, it should get it straight away. And you can see that you'll get a little result message. Now, without putting it too bluntly, um, no matter what the message says, it has most likely worked. So you just click OK. And then once you go into, um, once you go back into VMware, you should have a perfectly working you know virtualization platform and so that's basically all there is to say i just thought i'd put this video out because there's a lot of people have been commenting recently asking about it and so here it is um full credit to cubes on this one and as i said it works on everything up to 8.0.3 so again thanks for watching remember to subscribe and my next builds will be out very very soon probably within the next couple of days so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next videos
Bye.